Hello, fellow creatives. How are you? Hope you're doing well. So, if you are part of a tribe on a PVE server, this community center is going to be a godsend because it's going to help new tribe members get up and running really fast. It features this Quetzal sized landing pad, a nice little watchtower up there, and uh, has basic storage and workshop functionalities. So you can take uh, your stuff from your Quetzal or your land dino down here and easily add stuff from both ends into uh, the local inventory. And it, of course, will feature um, basic uh, crafting uh, stuff so that uh, new members and tribe mates can get up and running really quick. And then inside, over here, it also features a nice, large, lodging kind of uh, style meeting hall where new members can sleep and stash their gear uh, until they get lodgings of their own where they can respawn if they die, as well as uh, basically hold tribe-wide meetups. By the way, you can expect inspirational building vids like this every weekend right now. So click that bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified. And if you want to see the creative process I use to come up with this build, check out the card in the corner. Otherwise, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So at the beginning here, let's take a look at the materials list. Uh, this is the list of everything that you will need to build what's on your screen right now. As you see, we're pretty low in uh, needing glass and things. However, we are going to need lots and lots of wood and stone, especially lots of stone pillars or wooden pillars and stone foundations. So uh, let's go ahead and let's start building this thing. All right. All right, so this should be your starting foundation layout, starting from the very beginning, very front of the build, towards the back and the loading dock over here on the left. Uh, starting down here at the front, it is a six by five little square right here with a two by one thing right there on the end. And then it's connected by a three by one and then we'll have a six by five square back here. So that's how that goes. And uh, we need to go ahead and get started. You can, of course, change this out uh, from foundations and you can use ceilings instead if you want. I have built a version of this on the side of a hill before uh, over in the Ma region on the island. It actually looks pretty cool over there. But uh, here we're just gonna build a flat version because uh, it's kind of the easiest to, to get across. Uh, so of course, what we need to do first is we need to lay out our decorative pillars and we are going to do that by coming one foundations width into here laying a fence foundation <clears throat> right to here and this is going to let us uh, go ahead and uh, attach a pillar right here into this corner spot and we're going to go actually just three pillars up like so okay then we're going to do the same thing over here on this spot and we're going to go three pillars up like so and then back here all the way to the very end, we're going to take it. Oops, did I do that right? No, I did not. Try that again. We're going to take it three pillars up right here on the very corner. And then over here, right here, we're going to attach a fence foundation. And we're going to go three pillars up like so. All right. So now that we have the pillars, we need to add the walls, starting with the door. So we're going to put a door right here. In the center, we're going to tilt down so that the blue side is facing us. And we're going to place this in. Then we're going to do a wall frame and a, a, I'm sorry, a window frame and a window frame on this side and window frames on this side as well. And it's going to screw up if you have the fence foundations here. So press your snap point cycle key to get to the right spot and then just click it right in there. And then, of course, we're going to do uh, single wooden walls all the way across. Now here, what we're going to do is a standard uh, wooden wall with a door frame uh, or window frame right there. And then a window frame right here. And then a door frame right here. All right, very nice. And then, of course, flat walls all the way across. All right, so this is looking pretty decent so far, right? Um, I think so, too. Now we're going to go back here. Now, to make sure we have the correct snap point on this, I'm going to place a uh, flat wood wall right there and then come over here and use my snap point cycle key. Just that up. 
Move that up. And not move my mouse when I do it. And place that right there. And then we're going to do basically wood walls all the way across the back here. You can add windows if you want, but I'm going to keep it uh, kind of... Uh, uh, regular just flat because we're putting a fireplace right there and uh, I kind of don't want um, kind of distractions for when there's like a, a meeting going on. I don't want people looking out the windows so it's just going to be a flat wall. Uh, now over here uh, we're going to basically mirror this idea uh, sands the uh, the doorway. So this will be a flat wall and then a window frame and then a window frame and then a flat wall right there and then flat walls all the way across. All right, so this is what you should be looking at so far. Now what we need to do is we need to add in ceilings. Now these ceilings are going to ring the uh, the first floor, and they're going to provide the basis for the second floor, where there will be extra storage materials and things. So you're just going to ring it like so. You want to make sure the wooden support beams, like these things, are all facing the same direction, especially when you get to the corner pieces, because if you don't do that, uh, it's going to look like that. It's going to look all janky and weird. So use your snap point cycle key uh, to get that all correct. Like so. And we're just going to go ahead and ring this all the way around. Okay. Now that we have uh, a ring of ceilings all the way around here, uh, we need to add uh, basically uh, wood ladders so that we can get up here. So I'm going to put uh, a wood ladder on either side of where the fireplace is going to be. So we're going to attach a wood ladder right here to this foundation. Uh, we're going to do that first so that we can get a nice little um, sink up here to where it's nice and uh, vertical and doesn't uh, look, it, it doesn't split right here. Um, and then uh, we're, of course, going to do the same thing on this side. So just use your snap point cycle key to get to the right spot and then place it in. And let's go ahead. Let's climb upstairs. Now, this uh, this second seat, uh, this second floor, this is this is going to be a little bit different because um, we're, we're going to have like a very large kind of chalet type of roof here um, made out of thatch. And so we can't do any windows on either of these sides here, um, but we can do windows up front. So here's here's what the front is going to look like. We're going to do a solid wall and then three window frames right across the top like so. And then another solid wall. And then we're going to do solid walls across this side right here. And because I'm boring, I'm putting solid walls all the way across the back. Although you don't have to. You can uh, open it up if you want. I'd, I'd love seeing modifications on my designs. So I hope you guys tweet screenshots or, or put them in my Discord. Which, uh, by the way, uh, that is down in my description below. And if I'm remembering to do this correctly, it's also in um, uh, just showing up on your screen right about now. But uh, be that as it may, we are now ready for the roof itself. So to do the roof, what we need to do is we need to put a sloped wood wall right, right here. And then we're going to put a, a regular wall three across like that. And I'm going to put a sloped wood wall left right here. And then over here, this will be another sloped wood wall right, a, another regular wall, and a sloped wood wall left. And of course, we're going to duplicate that over here on this side. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So this is what your little community center should be looking like right about now. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's add the roofs. So I'm going to come back in here and land. And then we'll bring up this stuff and we're going to add the roofs. So we're going to do um, kind of an over slope, over overdone kind of roof. I don't quite know the technical term for it. So we're going to put a sloped thatch roof right there. I'm going to do a th sloped thatch roof across like so. Then we're going to turn around, put a sloped thatch roof right here, and then put one right here and right here. And we're going to want to do this for the other three uh, the angled roof uh, rows. So go ahead and do that. Uh, the reason I'm using thatch right now is pretty much because it looks nice. And if you are building in PVE, which is really the only reason you should be building this, uh, let's be honest, it's made of wood and thatch, uh, then odds of birds or animals attacking the roof of all places is going to be pretty low, unless you're in a mountainous area and the birds are particularly hostile there. So, um, you know, your mileage may vary. You may want to switch this out for stone, in which case that's totally fine. 
But uh, if you uh, if you don't, uh, uh, trust me, I have never had an issue uh, with this before. So now we just have this little bit to do. And uh, let me tell you, this is going to be a little squirrely. Um, if we try to place a roof on the outside there, it, it's not going to want to place. It's going to want to do something weird. So what we're going to do is we're going to take three roofs or three ladders. We're going to uh, attach them here. And this is going to be temporary. It's just so we can climb up. So let's go ahead. Let's climb. All right, so we're gonna climb up here, and this will give us uh, a nice little space to where we can add our roof uh, pieces in. So a thatch ceiling right here, and we're just gonna go all the way across like so. And before we add this spot, we're gonna add one right here. We're gonna drop down through the hole, and then we're gonna close it off by doing that. And then uh, once we're done with that, we can go ahead and do this. All right, so this is... Uh, this is looking pretty decent, but we do need to finish the roof. So let's head on outside and let's do that. So to finish the roof, uh, we're going to go ahead and come over here to the edge. We're going to put in uh, basically some wooden ceilings right here, right across the top. Then we're going to add the appropriate slope walls on either side. So a slope wall right on that side and a slope wall left. Oops, not up there, uh, but uh, right there. And then we'll add a thatch roof here, thatch roof there, and just basically right like so all the way across to where it's overlapping. All right, so that looks pretty good, but let's go ahead and come over here and duplicate that on this side. Hey, that's not bad. That's looking pretty good, actually. All right, so let's go ahead, head back inside and work on the interior. Um, it's looking, you know, a little plain right now, so let's go ahead and head upstairs and we'll place the fireplace first. Uh, the reason we're placing the upstairs one first, by the way, they're not tall enough to go through this roof, so I'm placing two, one on the bottom floor, one on the top. Uh, the one we're placing on the second floor first is because the first one, if we place that one, uh, it will cause this one to uh, be obstructed and we won't be able to place it correctly. So what we're going to do is we are going to... Uh, line this up against the back of the wall so that it's as straight as possible. And then we're going to take a, a kind of a step backward to where the back of the slab, uh, the back of the bottom slab right there, um, lines up with the bottom of the wall. And then we're going to place it like so. This is going to leave a nice little gap here where we can place the bottom one. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. So let me grab my other fireplace here. And we will attach it. So what we're going to do with the bottom one is we're going to do sort of the same thing. We're going to line it up as much as we can with the back of the wall. We're, we're going to back up just a tiny, tiny bit, not a whole lot. We're going to press our orbit camera key. And now you can see that uh, the, the fireplace is up on the second floor, but that's okay. It's just for alignment purposes. It actually works out pretty well. Because what we can do is we can nudge it over to where it looks like it's lined up perfectly. Press our orbit camera again and then place it. And then this is going to go ahead and mesh almost perfectly with the one we placed upstairs. So that makes a nice smooth overlap. Uh, and uh, it doesn't look too out of place, does it? It looks actually pretty good, I think, in my point of view. Okay, so the only other thing this thing is maybe missing is uh, a trophy mount. So let's go ahead and put one of those right here, like so. And then if you have a trophy, you can go ahead and mount it in like this. And this gives you a giant uh, skull that you can uh, uh, use for decoration. So this gives it a nice little lodgy sort of look and feel, which is pretty much what I'm going after. <laughs> so now the only thing we need to do is uh, add on railings up here at the top. So I'm going to put one right here. Um, and then we're going to leave these empty so that uh, people can still get up with ladders. Um, it did occur to me that, yes, you can use hatch frames so that you can ring this place full. Uh, so you can ring this place completely with railings. Um, but uh, that's not the style I wanted to go for. So I did do this on purpose. But uh, let's do that. That looks pretty good, I think. And now the only thing we really need to do is uh, go ahead and grab some windows and doors and add those in. So let's do that. Uh, three across the top here. And then for the windows, there are a couple more uh, across the bottom. But just fill those in. 
with uh, greenhouse windows and uh, wooden doors, and uh, then we'll continue on outside. So outside, uh, the decoration here for this front porch is pretty simple, uh, but we're gonna come around the corner here first. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place a ramp right there uh, so that you can get up, and then we'll do stone railings, like so, four on this side, and then we'll come over here, and uh, we'll go ahead Let's just start by placing a stone railing right here for now, and then bring the railings up, across, and around the corner, just like we did on the other side. And this leaves a gap of three foundations where we can add in uh, two more ramps. There we go. So now let's take a look and see what the final result is. Yes, okay, that's looking much better. It's uh, the, the porch, patio, whatever you wanna call it anchoring this to the ground better. Uh, you can put a sign up here if you want, that's optional. I did not include that in the materials list so because I'm not building that. But, uh, let's go ahead, get started on this uh, the watchtower. Now at the back of this place, we're gonna wanna build a watchtower or air traffic control tower maybe. It just kinda depends on how you think of it really. Um, but uh, we're gonna take advantage of this fence foundation we placed over here uh, along with this pillar and we're gonna snap a regular uh, wood pillar right off of that. We're gonna actually snap four of them off of that, like so, so that they snap to the corners of this foundation. And this this stuff is gonna be decorative, so it doesn't really matter, but we need to go up uh, about as high as you can at the moment, so about five high, and uh, it'll go higher, but just not at the moment. So we're gonna go up this high. And then once you have them placed that high, we're going to want to go ahead and put in some walls. So we're gonna put in walls so that the interior is facing us like this, like so. And then this one, let's make that uh, solid. And then we'll add a ladder and then a ceiling right on top so that we can climb on up. Okay, there you go. So now that we have this, uh, we're going to want to go ahead and add walls all the way up to top, the top of where we had the pillars. Uh, don't go any higher at this point because we're going to need uh, to add uh, more pillars before we add the walls. If you add the walls before you add the pillars, well, you won't be able to add the pillars. That's basically what it comes down to. Uh, now, right here, this is going to be an interesting case. We're going to get some obstruction. Just press your snap point cycle key, and then you will be able to place it correctly. And uh, let's place a uh, wall right there. And this, of course, should have been a door frame, so I'll make that a door frame. All right, and then this one, we are, of course, going to make a door frame as well because we're going to bring this out onto uh, the landing pad for our Quetzal that we're going to build here in a few minutes. Uh, but this one is going to go up like so. There we go. Oh, and that needs to that needs to change too. There we go. And then what we can do is we can add a hatch frame. So just jump in place. Then once you place the hatch frame, you're going to want to place your ladders coming down. And if you just back out like this and then keep looking up, uh, it's easier to place your ladders than trying to do it inside that little queue. But there you go. Once you have the ladder, we can go ahead, come around here, climb up, maybe. And then, of course, this is a, this is not quite tall enough for a watchtower or air traffic control tower, so we're going to need to add more walls. So let's first add pillars. Let's go three high, three, three more up here. And... Uh, you may have a little bit of uh, placement issues. Just keep trying. It'll work eventually. It's weird how art uh, kind of does things, but, uh, you know, it happens. And once you have these, let's place one wall on each side because we don't need to go much higher than this, to be honest. Just a little higher. And then uh, we'll place a uh, fence foundation. Oops. Or, a, yeah, one of these hatch frames. Uh, which, you know, I'm gonna place one right there, I guess. Come out here, climb up, place one like here, and then delete this one, and then delete this ladder, and then attach a wooden ladder like so. 
and then delete this hatch frame. There you go. Now you can climb down and up and you shouldn't have any issues. But we are going to need to add some railings or we're going to die. It's just kind of how that's going to work. Okay, there we go. So now that we have that, we need to make sure that we have a roof over our heads. So let's add four ceilings. And now, here's where you're going to want to quest. Or a Tapahara or something that will let you fly. For me, I'm going to go ahead and cheat because I'm in creative mode. And that's what we do in creative mode. <laughs> okay. So once we are up here, we are going to want to put a sloped wood wall left uh, on this side of the, uh, the tower. Um, so that uh, the symmetry kind of matches there uh, for this build down here. And of course, uh, put a slope wall right on the other side, of course. Uh, so a slope wood wall left on this side as well, and a slope wood wall right on, on as well. So just like that, um, so that it looks like that. And then we'll bring that roofs across. There we go. And now we have our little watchtower, which perfectly complements our community center. Now we need to work on our, well, let's just say our loading dock and workshop area. Now that we have our tower done, it's time to work on our Quetz landing pad area and loading dock. So to do that, we're going to start with our decorative pillars first. So let's come over here to this side and let's work uh, around this direction. Um, so the first thing we're going to want to do is to place a uh, fence frame right here. And then we're going to put a pillar right here and right here. And then we're also going to want to add a pillar right there. Now, on this, we're going to want to make this too high. Make this too high. We're going to want to make this three high. So one, two, three. Okay. So on this side right here, let's add another wood fence foundation and add a pillar. Let's make this go too high and then make this pillar on this side go one high. All right, so these are our pillars on this side. Let's add on to uh, this side. Here. So it's basically almost the same pattern. You're going to do one high here, two high here, add another fence foundation here, and then make this go three high. And then we're not going to do any more pillars here. Instead, we're going to come over here and we're going to add a fence foundation right here. And we're going to add a pillar right here onto the corner. I'm going to make this too high. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. Add a fence foundation right here. And then add a pillar here and here. Make that too high. Okay. So this is our pillar layout for our loading dock, workshop, and landing pad area. So now we're going to work on the walls. And we're going to start here on this side this time and then go counterclockwise over to this side since this side is pretty much open. Uh, but to start on this side, we're going to add a railing right there and then we're going to add a ramp. So we need to add a ramp to this spot. Let's go ahead and put it right there. And this will let us get up to here. And now let's do the walls itself themselves and let's put a solid regular wooden wall right there wooden wall right there and then a sloped wall left right up there and then on this side we're going to do a single uh, wall wood frame right there window frame and then we're going to do a door frame right here okay and then we're not going to build anything up here this is going to be kind of a low profile little place uh, and uh, that is just so that you can access the storage from the landing pad so on this side, let's go ahead, let's do a window frame right here. And then to make sure that this matches, we're going to turn this around. So we're going to take this out and we are going to place, replace it uh, with an interior facing wall. And then we're going to do a regular wall right here. Then a regular wall right here. And then a window frame. And also when you add uh, walls to the fence foundations, do make sure you are on the right snap point. Uh, if you're not on the right snap point, just make sure you have your snap point cycle key and then press it to uh, make sure that these walls uh, match. And then over here, let's add another window and another solid. And then over here, let's do uh, a window 
in a window. And then two solids. There we go. And then let's do a solid window, a uh, solid wall here. And a solid wall here. And a sloped wall right up here. And then right here, let's add another ramp down here. And then add a railing right here. All right, so this is all of our walls. Let's go ahead and start on the roof. So to start on the roof, what we're gonna have to do is do a uh, temporary wall right here. Um, so let's go ahead and let's go on this side and place the wall using our snap point cycle key onto the stone foundation. You wanna make sure it looks like this. Otherwise, if it's a little back, it's going to attach to that fence foundation. And that's not what we want. So we want one on that side and we want one on this side. Now I'm using thatch because this is a temporary wall and so this is cheap material and we're gonna destroy it later. Uh, and then right here on the top, on this side, we're gonna do a sloped wall right. And then over here, this will be a sloped wood wall left. Okay, now we're going to add a roof right here, a thatch ceiling. We're gonna go all the way across like so. And then once you have these ceilings in, you should be able to delete or destroy these thatch walls. And these should stay up thanks to these pillars here, providing extra support. So once we have this done, we will need to add our sloped walls. So let's add a sloped ceiling right there. And then a sloped ceiling just basically all the way across. Like so. Now on this side, we are going to do the same thing. Add sloped ceilings all the way across. There we go. And you can uh, you can leave this open or you can close it. Um, I'm going to choose to close it and I'm going to use thatch walls. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this right across the front. Once we have this done, we're going to want to leave an open space up here um, because this is how we, this is where our storage is gonna go right across the front here so that uh, when you land with a Quetzal, you can undock and unload stuff directly into storage from above. But if you're unloading with like a trike or a Bronto, you can also unload from here directly into storage. So that's why we're having the funky low ceiling layout here. Uh, we're gonna put regular roofs right across the side here, like so, all the way across. And these roofs are, in addition to functioning as a roof, they're gonna function as our Quetz landing pad. So we're just going to fill in this entire area just, uh, just make sure that they are about the same height because you will be, uh, uh, th there will be alternate heights sometimes, uh, uh, which is entirely okay. Now, why is this obstructed? This, uh, this may be an issue if you run into any obstructions. Just uh, destroy stuff. Yeah, there you go. It was just that pillar. And then you can rebuild that pillar later, like so. All right, so once we have that in, we can go upstairs. The way we're gonna go upstairs is via our little uh, tower. I'm gonna place a roof right there as well. Okay, so just make sure it goes down low so that you can actually walk through. And then once you have this in, we're gonna to wanna to add railings around the perimeter. So add a railing here, here, and uh, this can actually, oh, we can actually, oh, there you go. Didn't realize. All right, so you can delete that. I would leave the railings open here uh, for extra storage, and then we'll do railings across this right here. Now that we have the railings in, we can go ahead and work on our workshop interior. So when it comes to outfitting this uh, base, you're going to have to, of course, take uh, consideration of the low profile uh, version of this workshop area. Um, so to do that, uh, what you're going to want to do is for the higher profile stuff, if you're going to add like a chemistry bench or a fabricator, you're going to want to place those first. So for the fabricator, this bit, it's going to stick up above, as you can see, um, above the, uh, the ceiling. So what I would tend to do is to go ahead and place it as far as I can against the wall and just place it right here on this end. And then like for a chemistry bench, it would be the same sort of thing. So if we uh, need a chemistry bench as well, I would uh, I would place it over here. And these are, I think, really the only two higher profile 
um, kind of uh, items. Uh, but, uh, it of course, uh, makes it kind of easy sometimes to jump up here and get up. Uh, or you can place a ladder. It really just kind of depends on what you want to do. But, yeah, for these two, I would place those first. And then what I would start with is the vaults. So let's go ahead. Let's outfit our uh, vaults right across here. I probably am only going to need five or so. I'm going to take a ladder, and I'm going to use the ladder um, as a, an alignment tool, basically. So I'm going to put a ladder right here, and you can also use it to get up here easier if you want. So you can leave this. So I'm going to climb onto the ladder, and then see where my screen is at the bottom of the ladder? I'm going to go up to the fifth rung, and I'm going to disconnect. And now when I back up, I should have, yes, I now have space. And what I can do is I can come up here right against this and come up here until it turns red and then come up here to the left until it turns red and then just place it in right there. And I'm going to do the same thing right here. And then on this side, I'm also going to go right up to the chemistry bench or the wall and then place another one. This uh, gives you enough space for four vaults and a nice kind of healthy chunk of room here. Now, of course, this is... Uh, if this bugs you, you can, of course, uh, attempt to align it a little better. But I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm also happy to uh, put in an extra little storage basket just to kind of make it a little more even. I mean, that works for me. And then that way, when we come up here, we are going to be able to offload directly into the inventory, like so. So that's pretty much the only kind of uh, restrictions on the space here is needing to put stuff like right there and the fabricator over there and then vaults here in this area to make it easy to offload from both the Quets and from the uh, like a Bronto or, or a land diner. Uh, under here you can place a bed, a smithy, cooking pot, everything you need and you should have enough room. So once we have this laid out what we're going to want to do is go ahead and uh, add in the window frames and the doors. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll place the door right here, and then window frame right here, window frame, window frame, window frame, window frame, and window frame. Whew, okay, it's done. So really quick, uh, let's go ahead and go through how I ended up outfitting this particular place. I went ahead, I got rid of the fabricator and the chemistry table because I'm thinking this sort of build is really best used for tribe members or for tribes who are trying to onboard new tribe members. And so all of this stuff here is going to have uh, materials that they can use to get up and running really fast. Uh, so I just went ahead and just added vaults all the way across. And then in here we have basic smithy forging uh, a bed and some basic cooking. Um, you can of course do more with it, but this is just how I uh, kind of outfitted it just to give you guys kind of an idea of, of how this works of how you could use it. And then over here, uh, when I went over here and, and worked this out, um, I added a whole lot more storage in here, uh, as well as benches uh, for any community meetings, and uh, a refrigerator because uh, this is also one of those things that kind of sticks up above that one wall high sort of level right there. So that's sort of uh, why I moved that into here, as well as the, uh, the chemistry bench. Uh, also, I mean, it, it's neat looking furniture and I love my chemistry benches. So anyway, um, I think after uh, I am done with this video, I am going to go ahead and uh, finish recording my creative process video where I document how I made this and uh, some more of my thinking behind it. So you can think of that as kind of like a director's commentary. Uh, that vid's going to go live in just a couple of days. So be sure to hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified. And by the way, oops, uh, you are going to want to do that anyway because this vid is part of a whole channel full of art building videos released every Sunday. So once you do that, become a little more creative and click on one of the two videos on your screen or click on that third video to go straight to the tutorial. I'll see you next time. And in the meantime, go make something awesome. Bye.